Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Iona Gales and the Connecticut Huskies. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Huskies are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Secondly, get your man on your hip after the shot. Lock out and get after those boards. And lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The post flashes up high if he wants it. On the dribble, gives it up, tries for two. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth, turnaround jump, and the only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They look to get it to the inside. The point guard receives the ball. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from downtown. You bet you. Thomas handles the pass. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. out of play. Dumps it in. Bruce fakes the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Joseph was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. He says forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact with the score. Manning is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. He shoots from long range. Connecticut have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. fouled him everybody's happy including the school mascot well the mascot's doing a little dance baby celebrating a lot of jubilation he's got a high post flasher for two perfectly executed you gotta let the offense play into the double yeah they may be forcing the double a little bit trying to feed inside he got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He wants a three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Joseph receives the pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Wheeler handles the feed. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For the bucket. 
I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. Trying to go inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Poor decision there to shoot that three. That shot was definitely off of bounds. Let's take another look. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard, Dan. Goes up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. He uses the shot fake. With a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and the spin back the other way. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. He better get rid of it, Brad. He shoots from outside. He gets it to go. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Nice fake. Kicks it out. Fakes the shot. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. They work the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Goes in. On the outside. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Stop and pop. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. Up and inside. Launches away. Knocks it down. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Unloads a three. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. A 
On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up on the inside. Goes up for two. Iona have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Work it inside. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of bounds. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Now work it around the arc. Intercepted. Jumps in. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. the catch nice execution on the spin I tell you great spin move to the basket definitely a foul let's go to the third member of our broadcast team here's Aaron Andrews well Brad and Dick how about this crowd they're enjoying this close matchup and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time got a man in high post For two, and in and out. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Pearson makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He buries it. Misses the second shot. He grabs the rebound. Hey, Big East basketball, Brad. It's an interesting mix of teams. You've got an up-tempo teams, teams that like to play in the half court, and pressing teams. Well, I guess if you play in this conference, you've got to be ready for just about anything and everything. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Wow, take a look at the mascot. He's going crazy after that last dunk. He's jumping all over. He looks like he wants some fly. I love it, baby. Love that enthusiasm. It's stolen. Nice high post screen. Bruce draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. The Huskies will step to the line for the first time. Misses the first shot. He misses his second shot. He cleans the glass. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Count the bucket and the foul. He made a statement of that play, baby. I ain't backing down. This is crime. He goes to the line. Free throw is good. The screener takes a big time blow setting that pick. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. 
He looks at the hoop. That one there should have been a foul goal, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Stolen away. Thinks about the shot. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Trying to draw the foul. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket, Connecticut are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. There's the fake. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He takes a three. Great shot. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's check in court side with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to be able to win. Long down court pass. Connecticut is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Tries for two. Sinks it. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. What a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Hostel wants even more support from the fans, Dick. Hey, Brad, I think he wants the crowd backing him up on his next possession. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up, looking for contact. Two. 
Perfectly executed. Up and inside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Ten seconds to put up a shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, really slow. Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball with a goal, strong. Entry pass in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Side. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Pump fakes. Ten on the shot clock. Count the bucket. That's a goaltending violation. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From right out of the circle, he can't get the bucket to fall. Tries for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. The skip pass is picked off. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. Opportunity for two for one. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> How did the ball with effect? Where's he going? On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket, and he missed. Shot clock is dead. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Oh, what a strip, Red. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> inside nice little jam right there the one hand jam and stuff little showtime little pizzazz get out the mustard at the half the huskies are up by 12. Nick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? Hey, when the three balls are falling, Brad, you feel like the team can do anything, baby, as we see in this one distance bomb. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. Connecticut found themselves shooting very well, Dick, in that first half. Hey, that's a true sign of a well-coached team and a mature team. And we don't see too many mature teams. They're not mature like you, Mr. Nestle. <laughs> Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at half. 
halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Working it around the perimeter. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. He dials long distance. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Nice shot. He may be in trouble here, Brad. The crowd loves this young man. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Tries for two. They scored seven in a row. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two, they just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Outside. Takes the outside jumper. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Look at this effort. is the ball after having a guy in the post. Here's a double team. They work it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to put it up. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. The point guard with the ball. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They're trying to make a statement. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Tries for two. Intercepted. On the inside. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Looking for a good shot. Tries to get the D to bite. Let's it fly. Way off target. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Doesn't go. They're right on top of that pass. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. Shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Off the rim and no good. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. 
Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He goes to the free throw line. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football, special situation. You got to be able to execute there. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. It's good. The power forward takes the feed from the baseline. The Gales have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Gave it up. He takes the shot off the baseline. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice J. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Here's a flash from the post up high. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Fast break opportunity here. There he is, strips the ball loose. the outside puts it up Iona are on a nice little run at the moment hey they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout he launches a three Dickie simply on fire hey call the fire department baby this one's burning up on the dribble gives it up there's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Look at that spacing. Launches away. Rims out. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The center oh, takes the pass. Goes up for two, and he scores despite the hack. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The Huskies are up by four. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He steps up to the line. Gets it. Work it around the arc. And the ball goes out of play. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Stolen ball. Oh, 
The shooting guard gets the ball. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Hits the second. out of play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Working it around the perimeter. Ten on the shot clock. He shoots from the top of the circle. Tickles the twine. He looks for the bomb. He hits it. Looking for a good shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The center gets the pass. Looks at a three. He nails the shot. He strokes it. He gets that one to fall. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Tries the three ball. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Gales have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Two. There was no doubt about that one. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Robs him of the ball. And back they come the other way. They won't let that go. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the line for the first time. Nothing but nylon, NBN. He makes his second shot. Executed. 
to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He intercepts it. He goes with a jump hook. In and out. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up with a quarterback pass. For the deuce. Up. Easy one. With the fake. He shoots from left to the circle. Off the rim and no good. He pulls the trigger. The Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. He fires away. Scorches the net. the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. performance is just destroying his confidence. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. From the baseline, he gets the shot to fall. And a momentary look from three-point land. Foul charge. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. off the lazy pass. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. Good. Working it around the perimeter. Time to pick up the defense here now. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Up fake. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Great defense. On the outside. Now the high screen. He throws up the shot. 
He gets it to go. Steals the pass. For two. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Layup, son. I'm telling you, Brad, you can have a field day against these guys. Let's put a uniform on. Nobody within 10 feet of an easy basket again. I mean, unbelievable. Let's blow out City. They'll work it around the arc for the bucket. Iona are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Daddy's on fire. They work it around the perimeter. That basketball. He takes the shot. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside shooters. They've got to attack inside and then out. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. There might be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. They go back in front by two. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Step back out onto the court. Hey, Brown, stop here. We'll definitely raise the decimal level. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. The Gales have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. For the deuce, rims out. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fear tonight. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes it. They really need a 
score here to turn this into a one possession game. The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Look at that spacing. He shoots from the elbow. They have the foul to send them to the line. And hope they miss. Foul, and that stops the clock again. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Misses the front end of the one and one. We're about ready to start things up again. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Two with a lay-in. from downtown. And they'll decide this one in overtime. That's how games like this one to be, baby. Play the extra period. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. NCAA tournament, and it is overtime, a tournament game. Two evenly matched teams. Dick, this has been great throughout regulation. I can't wait for the OT. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Does it get any better than this? You talk about awesome, baby. Overtime game in the NCAA tournament. Wow. How golden is that? STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. Up and inside. That's a foul. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. No good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Now they work it around the perimeter. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. The turn of fadeaway jumper. You talk about versatility. There aren't many guys that can make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He shoots from right of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. team now that angle and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot and the ball goes out of bounds 
There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Ball comes back out from the post. Right there, Brad. You gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Nice shot, Bake. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They work it around the perimeter. With the shot. He drains the bucket. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. Here's the trap. He takes it away. Oh. The pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. Intercepted. With a long bomb. Working it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. We got a timeout on the floor. And with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He comes away with it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the pick. He takes the shot from the baseline. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. For two, finger roll. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Knocks it down. Decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the tray. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Shot clock is dead. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets the first. Makes the second. Now 
Now they work it around the perimeter. We'll take the shot. He nails the shot. And yet another foul. He is going to the line. Gets the first shot. Makes the foul shot. I'm going to T.O., baby. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. He fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. It. Time out. Both teams will get a breather here. We'll get a chance to talk things over. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. He goes for the trifecta. Rims out. This is the big time. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Iona opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves and they're in the second round. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.